Mr. Robbie Cole, you can't run from me. Today, I'm going to duel my friend, Mr. Robbie, in a battle, a very special battle with special stipulations. I use a new deck, and he uses a new deck, and see which new deck is better. Let's go. In this battle, I will be bringing none other than the greatest deck from October moving forward, and that is Ignite Inferno Ball. My good friend Robbie will be playing the beautiful Alec Playmat. Like I said in the last video, Alec Playmat's available for three days only. So get your Alec Playmat right now. But he will not be playing Elich because only you will be playing Elich once you get the beautiful Elich Playmats down in the description below, only for three more days. Shout out Miami. Viva Miami, baby. And what is my friend Robbie going to be playing, like I said? He's going to be playing Mr. Rune Sky Striker. Now, this match, okay, is one of the most insane matches I have ever been a part of. You guys cannot miss this match. Just watch and see literal craziness, okay? I can't even begin. I have 60 cards. I might get decked out. Absolutely absurd. Stay tuned and watch this match. Absolutely crazy. So, uh, for those who don't know what the Mr. Runes do, these cards are crazy. So, what the Mr. Runes do is that they either special summon themselves... To the extra monster zone as a free extender level two three or four but the field spell is absolutely absurd but on top of that they also have options uh secondary options so for example uh you either special summon to the extra monster zone or you know target a uh, special summon monster your opponent control destroy it and then after each of the first effect i'll just banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck uh so just keep that in mind the field spell is absurd the field spell actually just lets them draw three randomly it's actually crazy uh, anytime you activate a spell, you get the field spell text resolution to draw three. Literally, this card's actually insane. Like, it, it's actually insane. And it's once per turn, not a hard once per turn either. This is actually crazy. Uh, Robbie decides to play it with Sky Strikers. Here, we're going to be playing our special deck. He activates this uh, to be able to draw and then uh, be able to pop that, forcing us to banish. And now we're going to trigger our Ignites. We're going to get our good friend Ignis. Uh, we're going to put Ignis and Gallant here. We're going to Pendulum 2, trigger Rocks Rolls. Rocks gets negated. He's going to use this to draw 3. I'm like, bro, he just keeps drawing. This is insane. Then he's going to opt to uh, pop the Gallant, and he draws. I'm like, all right, and I banish. I'm going to trigger Gallant, uh, my Ignite now, to get Sublimation Knight. Triggering effect again uh, to get Ignite Cavalier, which is a t sadly a tuner. So I have Cavalier and Rocks Rolls, which are both tuners. I thought it wasn't mandatory, but it is mandatory. We're going to bring a Squeak Knight and go with Soul Day. So is going to add a sick Ignite. And I'm going to do my best here to clear the board. I still don't know what he might have in his hand. I special out. Sadly, I would love to special Renaud here, which is a non-tuner. But I, I'm literally out of Eclipse spells because he banished two of them. And he banished my Renaud. I only play one Renaud. So I'm going to special out my Grappler Angler. I'm going to enter Battle Phase here and try and trigger Grappler Angler. So I could use its effect to build a special a non-tuner for my Graveyard. And sadly, he's just going to activate this special back. Not able, so I can't even attack with Angler anymore. I go Needle Fiber, I go Living Fossil, he banishes my target for Living Fossil, I go Dagda, at least I can put him on Scythe Baron. Uh, now I'm just going to Fossil the rest of the way, and you guys are going to see, this match is insane, like this is, Mr. Rune is, is absolutely crazy. You're going to see what he's going to do, he's going to keep drawing here, he goes Ray, and I scoop. I shouldn't have scooped because I completely forgot that he misses his next battle phase, but I felt he had so much advantage that I just scooped there. Massive mistake, don't scoop in that scenario. Here, Robbie's going to have Mystic Mine, evenly an Afterburner. This is actually a recipe for disaster. But you know what? We're playing the best deck post-October, so it might not be a disaster. If you guys are excited for this video, man, just stay tuned. You guys are about to witness absolute greatness in action. I'm really excited to even show you guys how crazy this deck really is. So here we're going to use Renat. We're going to add this back. And this is really the new play of Ignite. So I think Ignite Inferno, but Robbie's going to see for himself, is just absolutely absurd, bro. Like, like absolute, absolute, ah! I just bit my tongue. But I'm going to bite this board off. That's what we're going to do. We're going to trigger off Dag Day here. We're going to use Ignite. We're going to get Therion Bull. Look at this cool play. We're going to use Therion Bull to special Squeak Knight. And we're actually going to utilize Squeak Knight's effect to turn it into a tuner by going seven once more for the rest of this turn. So I can make it Savage. So it just shows that you actually do not even need to play Regulus. So you can just use Therion Bull at any time to trigger. And instantly I'm going to pop the Scythe uh, right away because I want this, I need the Scythe to trigger because uh, I also want to get a Baron to floor out as soon as possible. I know the style of deck he plays. I negate this with Herald. Resolution, I use Needle Fiber. Sa Needle Fiber is mandatory, so I pop my Soul Day to get another Baron to floor. So he's locked up, and I, I know he's playing a Mystery deck that has all spells. I want to negate everything possible. Use a Field Spell. He's going to draw some cards. I'm like, this is fine. Let him draw a card. 
He just draws one, and that's going to be game. So we're going to go into game number three. Now, this game is actually going to blow your guys' mind. Uh, in fact, I'm not even going to stop. I'm not going to stop at any time. So my hand's absurd. My hand's broken. Look at this. Uh, my hand's absolutely insane. But I'm just going to let him go off here. Uh, I'm not, I'm, this is going to be a very long duel, okay? So I'm, I'm just going to fast forward the whole way. Uh, let's just say that at the end of the duel, okay? At the end of the duel, something absurd happens. So evenly, right? Something absurd happens at the end of the duel. I'm not going to ruin it. But we each have one card in our decks. Okay, anyways. Oh, maybe I just ruined it. You guys can't miss this. It's going to be absolutely crazy. The most insane grind game in the history of mankind. So I get skill drain here. And I'm like, you know what? I could climb up to access code to pop the skill drain. But I'm like, let me wait a bit. And I get hit with Mystic Mind. I'm like, bruh. Mystic Mind. Now I have three. I know I have three Lightning Storms in my deck. And I have two evenly matched. So I'm like, okay. I'm going to cipher through my deck until I get to this point. So we're just going to fast forward the rest of the way up to that point. We're going to keep drawing and drawing. Uh, he's going to go with some Mr. Rune effects. Now, here's your classic Mystic Mind plays, bro. Mystic Mind, Mystic Mind. Pass, 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 pass. Also, I realize at this, this point, I'm like, wait a second. He has cards to banish on the top of my deck. And I wonder Mystic Mind. So, he doesn't even need to burn me. I thought I was safe. I had, like, 60 cards. Look at us. 30, 24. Like, at any time, like, I could get cooked here. Because he can just banish all the cards from my deck. So, I'm trying not to search way too much. I don't want to search way too much. Go I search way too much, I'm just going to lose. I need to draw my Lightning Storms. So we're going to the point. Now it's really close, man. It's really close. Uh, I, I'm under crucial points. I have 15 cards in my deck. I, where's my Lightning Storms, bro? I have 14 cards in my deck at this point, And I have three Lightning Storms just stuck somewhere in my deck. I'm balding, bro. Two Lightning Storms stuck in my deck. I'm like, where are they, bro? There's 60 cards down to 14. I just need to open a Lightning Storm. And we just keep going. I wait, I wait. I'm like, Lightning Storm, where the fuck are you? I evil me for two. I'm like, Lightning Storm, where are you? Here. Robbie realizes, you know, he saw one Lightning Storm gone. He's like, wait a second. Lightning Storm can be drawn any time. Let me, I'm just going to go for it. So Robbie makes the executive decision here to go for it. I'm like, no, no, no. I need my Lightning Storm. Where is my Lightning Storm? I said a lot because I'm like, you know what? With five cards in the deck, maybe I can just deck him out. So maybe I just set up a massive wall. Uh, I'm like, come on, come on. Summoners are. I'm like, I just got to cipher through this deck. I'm at seven. He's a five. It's very scary because he can banish all my cards. I look at how much he, I'm like, yo, he probably went through all of his banish cards. I'm like, and there you go. Then he's like, all right, all right, trip could draw lightning storm at any point now. I have more cards onto my deck. I'm going to just go for it. So this is where it gets absolutely insane. So here he's going to make the decision to summon this out, to use the effects to draw three. Okay. So he's going to put back. Now that he's putting cards back in his deck, I'm like, shit, I can get, get like decked out soon. Then he goes, engage. I'm like, oh my God. Okay. It's all good right now. Look at this. He was engaged. And four cards up in deck. Three of them are fucking sky strike. Three of them are literally Mr. Runes. And he draws the one card in his deck that's a Sky Striker. That's fucking insane. And he gets a draw. He goes two cards onto his deck. I'm like, oh my god. This is looking really, 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 really bad. Uh, he does miss his next battle phase, which is a massive plus for us. But now we're down to two cards, two cards. I have my Lightning Storm gone. This, I have one Lightning Storm left. I'm like, you're kidding me, right? I have two cards left in my deck. And there's only one card to save me here. And that's Lightning Storm. He sets. I'm like, oh my god. Yuya Sakaki and Zark above. Thank you, Lightning Storm, finally! Let's go! Oh my god, summon regular, summon Gifford, summon my whole hand up. I have one card in my deck. Oh my god, and we pull it off, bro. If it wasn't the Lightning Storm, I would have lost. What an absolutely incredible match. Shout out to Robbie for that crazy match. Everyone gotta go subscribe to him right now. That was an absolutely insane match with Robbie. This is the deck profile that I use for that insane match. I think this is the best deck moving forward come October. Plays with so many interruptions. Absolutely insane. If you guys got this far, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Check out the beautiful LH play mats. Three days only, boys. Three days. So check it out ASAP. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe button for Robbie. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ignite best deck. Peace.